Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. In front of you on the screen, you'll see that I just released two new social media quote packages. One is Ripple Quotes and the other one is Heart Flap Quotes. And someone sent me an email and asked me if she needed a specific program in order to change the quotes inside this package. The answer is no. As long as you have access to a graphic program such as GIMP, Photoshop, MS Paint, even Microsoft PowerPoint, or even online programs such as PicMonkey.com or PixLR.com, you can easily change the quotes in these boxes. So, let me show you how to do that today with PicMonkey.com, and later on we'll make more videos in order to show you how versatile this package really is. So the first thing that we want to do is go to PicMonkey.com, pull it up in our browser, and once we get there we want to look for the Edit a Photo tab, right here and double click it. This will open a box on our computer and will allow us to double click on any one of the blanks that came with the package. So double click on it and it will open up inside a PicMonkey. Now this measures 600 by 600 pixels for Pinterest. So we're going to make a Pinterest quote. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to double click on the text tab over here so that we have choices of the text that we can use. So I'm going to pick this one and say add text. That will place a text box inside of our quote package and then we can pull the pick monkey text palette over here so we have that to work with as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to type in your quote. As you can see my mouse, if I click the screen here, it allows me now to spread this quote anywhere can make it bigger. If I use the text palette here I can center it and make it even bigger still. And I can drag it on the screen to position it where I want to. Now since I will be using this for branding purposes I want to add another text box down here that includes my blog URL. So I'm going to click outside that box click the add text box again and it drops another text box inside my quote. And I'm going to stretch this so it's bigger and then I'm going to double click inside of it and add my URL. I also want to center that so I'll click the center button and I'm going to make it bold if it'll let me. Oh this is Tahoma, okay. And that's a little bit too big so I'm going to drag this size to something like that and I'm going to change the color so it stands out. And that's really all there is to it. Now once we've done that, if we look up at the top, PicMonkey gives us the option to share it. Now you can share it on Pinterest, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, or even send it to yourself in email. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to hit the save button and I'm going to allow PicMonkey to let me save it to my computer. So I'm going to name this as quote one. And even though this box came as a PNG originally, I'm going to switch it to a JPEG file because I want the file size to be a little smaller. So if you look here and you click on this, this tells me that this is the smallest file size I'm going to get. If I click on this one, it gets even bigger and this is even larger still. So we want to keep the file size smaller and once you've done that, the dimensions of this is going to be 600 by 600, which is perfect for Pinterest. And then we can click Save to My Computer. This will open up a box again and ask you where you want to save it. So I'm going to save it as Pinterest Quote 1. And then I'm going to click Save. And we go back to our computer. You can see now that that file was actually saved because right here it is and it's saved on our computer. So now all you have to do is upload this anywhere you want to use it, probably Pinterest or even your website, and use it for branding purposes. You can change these quotes to be whatever you want them to say. So even though it's a relationship PLR package, it does not matter. If you like the quotes and how they look, they come along with 20 blanks for Pinterest, 
20 blanks for Facebook, and you can put any quote that you want in there. So if you need any more help, please don't hesitate to ask me, and I'll create another video. Until then, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.